Today has really been a lot about processing what happened here at Wobler Collegiate yesterday in the city's east end. Behind me you can see there is a security guard here, one of many who have been here at school along with police officers offering students some peace of mind. Now police have identified the victim who was killed here yesterday as 18-year-old Jefferson Peter Chardley Garrier. Officials have not confirmed whether he was a student at Woburn Collegiate. This morning, there was a strong security presence at the school as students headed into class. Grief counselors are also here to help kids process what happened. Now, what happened yesterday is that just before 3.30 yesterday afternoon, the victim was outside of the high school when he was shot. The school was placed in lockdown. The victim was then rushed to hospital where he died. A second victim, a 15-year-old, walked into hospital with a gunshot wound. The suspect fled, described as a teen boy wearing a black jacket and a COVID mask. It's not clear at this point whether the suspect also attended this school. Police have also not confirmed whether the victim was a student here. Students at Woburn Collegiate are say they were still inside when the shooting took place and they describe what it was like being here during all of that commotion yesterday. I was waiting for the robotics club in the hall and then everybody started running down the hall and then we went inside one of the rooms. Yeah and yeah. What, was, what was your reaction when you found out someone had died? Uh, I was kind of shocked. I was really shocked um, at what I found out. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I was scared at first because it was kind of like a unusual thing that happens at Woburn. There are a range of supports available for students and staff, whether that's in small groups for students throughout the day um, or for staff as well. And the Toronto District School Board says grief counselors will be here for as long as they're needed by staff and students. Toronto Police will also have a police presence here for quite some time as well.